Welcome to Nitro, ladies and gentlemen. The Super Brawl was last night, and we have got a new WCW World Heavyweight Champion dethroning the NWO of our prized possession. Let's get the man out here. And there he is, people. The World Heavyweight Champion. He tore through the NWO last night, destroyed them. You can give a little thanks to Vader and Big John Tenta, who took out Jim Neidhart and the Disciple, which forced Nash and Hall to step in, who had already wrestled that night. Of course, that's a different story, what happened in that match. I'm past the point of needing to prove myself. I've accomplished more here than I ever thought I could. I took this title. I have beat the hell out of the NWO once again. And I am standing tall. The NWO has learned they can't beat Goldberg. Some guys like to talk big game. Bret Hart liked to talk big game. Nash and Hall, big game. They couldn't do it. Then they just couldn't stop me. I am the champion. I am the man. And there's no one in the NWO that can stop me. You all know how this goes. It's very simple. Who's next? Oh, look who's back! It's Hogan! Hogan's back! Oh my god, it's Hollywood Hogan! And look at the look in Goldberg's face. He's fought this man before. He won his first world championship against Hulk Hogan. Hulk Hogan, Hollywood Hulk Hogan is back! And it looks like, uh, I hate to say it, but... He's came out in the black and white. It's the NWO music. Oh God, does this mean he's still with them? Hey, sorry to interrupt you. Little speech there, Goldberg, but uh, Hulk Hogan's back. And when Hogan's here, the title comes to me. Do you think this makes you significant, Hogan, coming back, coming out, demand a title match because you're Hollywood Hogan and that's what you get to do? You know, I'm really disappointed. I thought you were smarter than this. You don't beat the NWO, you beat Bret Hart. Hall and Nash had already fought. If you didn't have your two big bodyguards, you would never have got out of there with that championship. And now I'm going to take it from you. If you're so interested in becoming the next name on my list, then feel free right here, right now. Let's go, Hogan. Title on the line. Start this show the way we know it should. I will spear you, jackhammer you, and show you I'm the best. I think you've been hitting the head too many times. You must have popped a vessel in that match last night. You see, brother, Hulk Hogan will get his shot. And Hulk Hogan will get it at the next pay-per-view. And Hulk Hogan will be the NWO champion. Here's the deal, I'm ready to go right now, Hogan. So either put up or get out. I'm gonna do you a huge favor. You see, the NWO doesn't come out and just have a match. We have to let you know we are coming. Goldberg, 
You know. You can run that fat mouth until your voice gets sore, man. I do not care. Put up or get out. <laughs> oh, Goldberg. Time is counting and it's coming. Goldberg, you're next. And, oh, wait a minute. And, oh! And there's Scott Hall. And, oh, and they chopped out the knee. And Hall and Nash are out here. And, oh, come on. And why are we not surprised? And, oh, God. Why are we not surprised that this is happening once again? And, oh, come on. And Scott Hall is look at Nash outside the ring. What's he doing? It's Hall. And, oh, man, just dropped Goldberg. And, oh, God. And this... This is ridiculous, man. This is another beatdown. Hulk Hogan is back. Jesus. I don't believe this. I can't, I can't believe this. As, look at Nash. Oh God, they've got the table set up here. Oh, come on. Our world champion is getting an NWO beatdown. It's the jackknife. God, right through the table. God's sake, man. I don't, I just can't believe this. And, oh, look at Hogan. Look at Hogan. And Hogan... Want them on his feet. And, oh, God. And Hogan is just picking away at him. As, oh, and here he comes. Big man drops the leg. And message sent loud and clear to Goldberg tonight. Hogan, Nash and Hall, the original NWO members are back together. God, they fired them right through the announcer's table. And then look at Hogan, that little lad in just had to drop the leg. And the original three, and Hogan is the number one contender. What a surprise when Eric Bischoff's the man in charge. Hardly a shock that Hogan comes back to the company and instantly gets granted a title match. Absolutely ridiculous. Ridiculous, man. The NWO just get away with whatever they want. Well, ladies and gentlemen. Well, here comes Greg Valentine. And, well, Valentine... He just likes to wrestle, make his money, but it's the man he's about to face. Where is his head right now? He needs answers after what happened last night. Booker T. Booker T's head is not in this. His own brother jumped off the apron last night, refused to take the tag, and left Booker high and dry. The return the reuniting of Harlem Heat as, and look at Valentine there, just took him straight down. Where's Booker T's head at? As he's head in the game. We know, we know a fit. Stevie Ray is not here. And that is all we want is answers. Why did he betray his brother? Did he join the NWO? But there was, there was no celebration. There was nothing. The NWO almost looked as shocked as Booker did. So it's, it's almost as if something else, but 
We don't know. Is Booker T now? He's on to Valentine here. The Irish whip. As I said, we don't know where Booker T's mindset is at. Where is his head right now? As and Booker there, God, you see that shot? I think he might be a little bit more pissed off than anything else. As Booker T betrayed by his brother last night. And look at him, man. And God, what a knee. And I think he might be a little bit PO'd here. And, oh, Valentine, though, catches him. Scoops him up, drops him right on the knee. And, well, Booker T, man. When are we going to get answers? When is Stevie Ray going to show his face? Oh, speaking of faces, man, ripping away at Booker's. Big back suplex there. And Valentine right in at that cover. I said, man, when are we going to say it? Oh, for the love of God, Valentine just took the padding off that turnbuckle. Well, he's always willing to take a cheap shot, that's for sure. There's Booker, though, over the back. Drops him down. Well, ladies and gentlemen, Hulk Hogan is back. As Booker T with a neck range. God, man, most violent move in wrestling history. That's why everybody uses it. Everyone utilizes the neck range. Well, Hulk Hogan is back. Our new world champion has been laid out. As, whoa, Booker T floats right over. Valentine, though. Able to shove him off from that DDT. And, oh, what a shot. Right, ladies and gentlemen, tonight, Hulk Hogan's not the only return. We saw Arn Anderson show up last night, and tonight we will see the Enforcers team together. We are going to see Arn Anderson and Larry Zabisco taking on Savage and Perfect in tag team action. Henning, damn it, I keep calling him Perfect. As, oh, raking at that face again, as I says, we don't know where Booker T's mindset is at. As he's not looking like his usual self here. He's usually quite a dominant competitor in the ring. When are we going to get the answers from Stevie Ray? As Valentine has been really giving it to the leg. As he's dragging him away from putting him into the middle of the ring. As he drops the elbow man right on the back of the noggin. And there's another one, man, right in the heart. And, man, he's rattled on. And, God, he's choking on a Valentine, man, just taking every chance he can here. And, you now he's stalking Booker, man. Booker is not looking like his usual self. And here he goes, softened up that knee as the figure four is in. It is locked in. Booker's in the middle of the ring here. He's going to have to try and reverse the pressure. And no, Booker just, Booker just tapped. Man, his, his, man, he should never have competed tonight, man. His head is not in the game. His head is gone, man. Up his ass. He has got absolutely no mindset. Well, Valentine. Hold on, man. Professional. And Valentine leaving here, he took a lot of dirty tactics in this match. At least we never saw that turnbuckle pad. And, and, and come on, Valentine! As if the man's not been through enough already. Doesn't need this as well. Come on. When are we going to get the answers, man? Booker T, the mindset. His head is not in the game. And ladies and gentlemen, here we go! No entrances, of course, as look at Sting. It is a rematch for the tag team titles here. And he has just dropped them. He's taken them right off the apron. As, and, and no! No! What was that? What was that? Luger! Luger, be kidding! Please be kidding! This, no Luger! And, no! He just pile drive them. Oh my god, please. Don't tell me this is happening. Oh, I, 
I've got no words right now. This is... This cannot be happening right now. As Steiner is in. And... Oh, God. And Rick Steiner. And... Oh, my God. This... This is happening right now. This is actually happening. Lex Luger just betrayed. And he's got him up. It's going to be another pile driver. And... Oh, God. For a second time in his head. What just happened? There's... There's no way. Luger just betrayed Sting this and he's celebrating with the Steiners are you kidding me on there is no way oh there's Lex Luger has just betrayed Sting he's actually just betrayed Sting I I've got no words. What? Oh, what's just happened? Lex Luger has just joined the NWO. Ladies and gentlemen, we've been joined by Psychosis here, but moments ago we just saw Lex Luger betray his best friend. What is going on in WCW between Stevie Ray betraying his own blood, Lex Luger betraying a man who's like a brother to him as well. It was Sting it got him to the company. Anyway, let's hear from Psychosis. I am not a man that goes out seeking conflict. I don't poke bears because I know it gets me nowhere. As far as I am concerned, I am next in line for the Cruiserweight Championship. You people, you seem to place a lot of faith in the other Cruiserweights like Rey Mysterio Jr. and Jason Thunder Liger. But I was the one that pinned the Cruiserweight Champion last week. But yet I didn't get added to the match at Super Brawl last night. So I demand I am in line next. So forget Rey Mysterio's rematch tonight. I want Jushin Thunder Liger tonight. And well, Dean Malenko just shot down to the ring. Oh, it's nice to know that whenever I need to fall asleep, I can always rely on listening to you. That is basically clockwork with how effective you are. And let's get one thing straight. Last night, when I got rolled up into the pin, I, it should have been called as a rope break, and you know it. So if anyone's next in line, it's me. Oh, hell no. I didn't come out to this ring tonight just to be interrupted by you. You lost last night. Plain and simple, there's no disqualifications in a triple threat match, so it doesn't matter if your hand was on the rope. For the life of me, I'll never understand you people. Everyone knows I was screwed last night. I had that match in the bag and I should be standing here, the cruiserweight champion. I completely understand why you would come out here and try to soak up some of my magnificence. Unfortunately for you, there isn't anything that anyone can do to shape you into anything resembling a threat to me. I was the one that won the match for us last week. I want the next shot. A weak, pathetic superstar like you. We only won a tag match last week. You may have got the pin, but I'd done all the work. Just like I'd done all the work last night at Super Brawl. And then that stupid Jushin Liger stole, stole my victory. I'm still not convinced. You've been out here for what seems like ages trying to convince me to give a crap. I'm not feeling sorry for you. You got pinned. You lost. You go to the back of the line. 
Well, you know what? The Cruiserweight Championship match is coming up next. Rey Mysterio Jr. getting his rematch for the title against Jushin Thunder Liger. And you know what? I'm going to be out here for that. And I'm going to be watching it closely because the winner is mine. I've done more in this business than you. I am next in line. I'll be out here during that match as well because the winner is mine. I am next in line. You know what? You put up fairly convincing arguments. All right, everyone tonight, you're going to watch yours truly. Maybe they should see me have a match with you. You guys ready with that? Are you excited? Too bad, because I don't give a crap what anyone here thinks, and I don't give a crap about facing you tonight. The Cruiserweight Champion is mine. And well, Psychosis and Malenko both arguing over who's going to get the Cruiserweight Champion next. Well, ladies and gentlemen, the Cruiserweight Championship match is coming up next. Well, okay, ladies and gentlemen, as I say, it's coming up next. And it looks like Malenko and Psychosis are both going to be staying out here for this match. Rey Mysterio Jr. He lost that Cruiserweight Championship last night. He's aiming to get it back tonight. Can he win that championship back? As Malenko and Psychosis are both disagreeing over who gets the next shot. It's very simple. The next shot goes to the former champion. He gets his return match. And that's what he's getting here. And there's the new Cruiserweight Champion. Jushin Thunder Liger winning that last night in that triple threat match. The title is on the line here, people. See, what, what a night we've had, people. This is this has just been... Ah, the betrayals and our champion, our world champion has been... Taken out, man. He's gone. I've put through that announcer's table, man. And, well, mutual respect between Ray and Liger. Two of them have got respect for each other. As here we go. And Ray catches him. Oh, Liger takes him up. Back down and... Oh, man. Right into the DDT. And here we go, man. Cruiserweight title on the line here. We've still got the return of the enforcers tonight. That's still to come. As, oh god, shot by Ray. See, we can also tell you Bret Hart arrived to the arena moments ago and uh, <laughs> he wasn't too happy. To, oh god, man, you see that drop toe hold at that bottom rope? I was saying there, Bret Hart, he arrived to the arena and uh, when he found out that Hulk Hogan's been given the, the title shot, he wasn't too happy. He was not pleased at all. As Liger... God, he's not thinking this already, is he? No, I thought he was thinking shooting star press. I was like, damn. And oh, that, 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 that didn't look pretty. That did not look pretty. And... Oh, ladies and gentlemen... Nice drop kick there, say this has been a hell of a night. I've got no idea what to say. It's been unbelievable. As oh look out! Liger! Caught him! A big suplex there is Ray. As I say, oh, my head's up my ass right now, just with everything that's happened tonight. Hogan's back, we've got the enforcers back. As, oh, watch out, man. Nice bulldog there. As Liger might be thinking, finishing touch. And God, man, what an easy retain this would be. The shooting star press. Oh, and Ray, you do not kick out of a shooting star press. It's, oh, and another one. But now, Psych what's Psychosis doing? And he turns round, man, back onto Ray. Well, he just landed a second shooting star press. Psychosis getting involved, though. Well, 
ladies and gentlemen, as we said, Hulk Hogan is the number one contender for the title, apparently. And we can tell you that will be the next time we come to pay-per-view. And that will be uncensored. As Liger's got him up in the shoulders here, man. This has been pretty one-sided, man. Liger's been pretty dominant, got to be said. As off of that snake eyes, he goes into a cover here. Ray, though. I think the other Ray I had was a bit better. <laughs> and Ray Mysterio. And oh, went low there with a the kick. Shoots up. Takes him down. As, look at Psychosis. What's Psychosis doing? Is he trying to help Ray Mysterio? As Ray got him by the wrist here. Jumps up. And... Oh, man, the high flying. It's, oh, wait a minute, wait a minute, what's Ray doing? And, oh, ho, ho. and Ray Mysterio just used the steel chair. What the hell are you doing, Ray? That's not what he does. It's the knee to the gut. And he takes him down, the Hurricane Runner. What just happened? This isn't what Remus is. The cruiserweight title that important to him? As Ray slams him down here, and Ray with a lovely spring there. Where's Ray going now? He's going up high. And Ray Mysterio wanting him on his feet here. Oh my god! Just put his left nut right through his face. Right off the top rope with that sent on, he didn't quite connect it properly. It looked more painful as Liger shoves him off this time. I cannot believe Ray used the chair. What is going on? Is Ray now up on the middle rope and jumps off with a splash? What is happening tonight? It's such a weird show. As Ray now and oh god, a shot ran right to the foot. As Liger though shoves him off. And Ray rolling to the outside. I mean, there's no way the cruiserweight title is that important. These men shook hands at the start of the match. Now, look at Malenko. What's he doing grabbing Ray? And, oh, he just bounced Ray off the apron. And Liger takes advantage of that. What is going on with these guys? Well, Liger taking Dean Malenko's help there. As Ray... Sends him back into the ring. You can see Malenko trying to get closer to him. As Ray now puts him into the corner. And look at Ray. These shots here. As Ray now over the top. And oh man. The moves from the little guy. It's almost as if Liger and Ray are just taking any opportunity they can get here. And Ray... Ray reta retains, he wins the title back. And the Cruiserweight title. I mean, look at that, man. That throw there. And he kicked out of the shooting star press and he landed another one, a big springboard one off of that. And then Ray, using the ropes to his advantage, with a spring. He also used a steel chair. And in doing so, Rey Mysterio Jr. has just won the Cruiserweight Championship back. Malenko and Psychosis heavily involved in this match. My God, man. What else is going to happen tonight? My God, man. People, we are back. And... This has just been insanity, man. Well, here comes the buff. 
Buff Bagwell, accompanied by Jeff Jarrett. He ended up having a hell of a hardcore match at Super Brawl. DDP decided to change the rules. And that's exactly what happened, man. The rules changed. Jeff Jarrett ended up going through, through an announcer's table. And well, here come the New Jersey Triads. It's going to be Buff Bagwell one-on-one -on -one with Chris Canyon. These guys reunited, watching each other's backs. Something we definitely need to see more of. I can tell you, man, Eric Bischoff made sure that the Dungeon of Doom couldn't get into the building tonight. He made sure that Vader and Big John Tenta could not get in. And here we go, and Canyon, man, he just caught Buff right there. As Buff throws him down. See, these guys had a few singles matches a couple of months ago, man. It was Buff that took some cheap shots on Canyon. You can also give some assists to the likes of Jeff Jarrett. And then it was DDP and Jarrett and Buff decided to pick on him. So there's one little bonus here. I don't know how I've done it, but the Twitch bar has disappeared. I am live on Twitch right now, but it has vanished. So well, I can still check it on this, so that's all right. Oh, I've got a couple of people. As big DDT by Buff. Now, ladies and gentlemen, said the next time we are on pay-per-view WCW, it will be uncensored. Now Buff Bagwell being a bit cocky and as it stands we've got our main event. It's going to be Goldberg and Hogan for the World Championship. Hogan is back. And he's been granted the title match instantly as always. And oh. And Buff is in control right now. As, well, he's stretching Canyon, that's a damn sure. And Canyon able to roll out of that one. Now he's right on to Buff. Well, the Dungeon of Doom banned from the arena tonight. He's made sure that they will not take part. As Bagwell managing to hit out here. As, oh, float over. And he plants him with a DDT. See, we've still got the return of the enforcers to come tonight. And for what we know, we're, uh, we're going to be hearing from Bret Hart at some point as well, because apparently he is not happy. He's going around backstage looking for Hogan or Bischoff. Obviously, Hogan's been magically granted a title shot. And Bret Hart will obviously want his return match after losing the championship. As ah, Buff got him up in the shoulders here. So he's going for a rack almost. And no! God takes him out. As Bagwell now on that middle rope, he's posing and he's going to go for it here. We've seen him win matches with us before and there it is as he hooks the leg. One, two and Bagwell gets the victory representing the NWO. Well, Oh, wait a minute, Canyon's holding his hands up here. Are you kidding me on? What's Canyon doing? And even Buff Bagwell looks as confused as us. Why did Canyon shake his hand? What is going on? What the hell is going on?
This is the weirdest, weirdest one we've had yet. What is happening tonight? Why did Canyon shake his hand? Don't tell me he's joining them as well. Well, what else is going to happen tonight? As there's Kurt Hennig, along with his invisible partners. Thanks, 2K, for the glitches. Still can't fix it after multiple updates. Well, it's Macho Madness, Randy Savage, Kurt Henning, also accompanied by Rick Rude, as they are taking on the return. The Enforcers are back together. It's going to be Big Arn Anderson and Larry Zabisco. I know no, they're coming down separately. Why are they coming down separately? Oh, that's right, I've got two factions of NWO because of how many there is in it. Uh, forgot about that. Well, there's the woo. And there's the enforcers. Arn Anderson, the master of the Spinebuster. The living legend, Larry Zabisco. And the nature boy, the WCW television champion, Ric Flair. Ric Flair will be at ringside watching the boys' backs tonight. See, Kurt Henning. Kurt Henning and Savage. Obviously, they took on Flair in Zabisco last night. But tonight it's Arn Anderson that returns to action. Well, here we go. And look at Arn, man. He goes right for Kurt Henning. Arn Anderson's going to show he's not missed a beat since he's been away. As he scoops him up right down into the backbreaker. And he is taking it to him here. This rivalry between Hennig and Flair. Obviously turning his back on the horseman. He's getting on. As, oh, caught there. As, oh, into the shoulders and drops him right on the knee. And he tags in Zabisco. Zabisco now taking it to him, man. This, this episode's been more about the, the storylines than the matches, that's for damn sure. See, we know Bret Hart's backstage. He's pissed. Goldberg's was being taken out tonight. Vader and Tenta haven't been able to get into the building. An absolute nightmare now. Lex Luger turned on his back. Booker T's head's up his ass. It's just... All over the place, man. Rey Mysterio pretty much cheated to get back his Cruiserweight Championship. As Hennig, man. Uppercut there. And, oh, shot right to the gut. As buff. Look at Rick Rude. Rick Rude putting a chair in the ring. Where I say we just mentioned Rey Mysterio there. Already seen what he's done. As there's the tag. As Savage is in now. And what the hell? He just smacked the referee. What did he do that for? Why did he hit the referee? And Savage and Hennig have just backed out of the ring and walked away. They just get intentionally disqualified. Why did they get intentionally disqualified? What is going on? Well, we are being rejoined by Hogan. I'm not going to lie, we were expecting to hear from Brett. Brett Hart's been running around backstage looking for this man. 
Oh, why is hot man? I don't know what the hell has been going on tonight. This is this has been a, a weird, weird night. Very strange night. And Hogan is back out here. Come on, brothers, let's not pretend you don't know who I am. Because I can't get them out here, the crowd, beat each and every one of you up. Personally, I'm going to do the next best thing. I'm going to beat up Goldberg and I'm going to take his World Heavyweight Championship and we will rechristen it the N. W.O. Championship once again. The N.W.O. We will crush all of your heroes. We will crush them all together as one working unit. And, whoa, wait, wait a minute, wait a minute. And there's Brett. He's been running around backstage trying to find Eric Bischoff. Trying to find Hulk Hogan. Well, Hogan's smiling as if... Oh, there's... there's oh, they're, they're all NWO. They're all black and white. Well, Bret Hart, the man who lost that championship in a three-on-one handicap match, which was in his favour. I mean, how can you lose that match? This is ridiculous that I have to come out here. Everyone around here... Now, I want answers right now. Why are you the number one contender? I have my rematch. Look, this do not change a thing, right? I am Hollywood Hulk Hogan. I am WCW. And I'm the guy who holds the big belt in the NWO. <laughs> There's a misconception around here. People seem to think I'm not living up to my potential in WCW. Yeah, I'm the guy who's just spent the last month with that championship belt. I'm the guy who spent the last two months, actually, with that belt representing NWO. And you think you just walk in and you take over and you are in charge? I don't care what you think about me, brother. I most certainly don't care what the fans think about me anymore either. The only thing I care about is having the World Championship. And that's what I do. I am the face of wrestling. So I am the man. So you need to realise that in the NWO. Oh, if I wanted to waste more time hearing the usual crap come out of your mouth, surprise, surprise, Hulk Hogan holds back Bret Hart just another day at the office for you, eh? Whether you like it or not, I am getting my rematch. I'll tell you that right now. Look, Brett, look, Brett. There's other belts out there. You know, Nash has got the United States Championship. Maybe we could get you in a match with Ric Flair. You can you can bring the television title to the NWO. We've already got the tag titles. We've got the US title. I'm going to bring back the world title. Is this the kind of guy you are? You talk big game. But you don't have the stones. You know what, Hogan? How about me and you have a match? And the winner can face Goldberg. How's that sound? You know what? We are not going to fight, Brett. Because you see, there is one thing that I know about the NWO. And I've sat with Hall and Nash and a few of the other guys in the back. And you see, the thing that destroyed the NWO before was too many recruits. 
We brought in far too many people and we ended up with the infighting just like this. Do you hear these idiots? Savor it all, Hogan. I know why NWO fell apart before. And it was because of you. Because you've got to be the guy. You've got to be the man. You've got to stand at the top and no one else gets through. And these two are face to face right now. And ladies and gentlemen, Neidhart's down here, Hall and Nash are down here. As these guys are all trying to split each other apart right now. As Nash and oh Nash just dropped Neidhart. It's oh What the hell was that? What the hell was that? It's Nash. It's got. He's got Neidhart. He's got Neidhart in the ring, on the shoulders, and oh, God, jackknife! Don't tell me. What the hell is happening? Bret Hart's down on the outside. As Hogan in the ring now, and oh, drops the leg. As Bret... Knocked off the apron. And good God, man. This is... This is not good. It looks like... This is a beatdown. As now look at Scott Hall. He's going to take his turn on Jim Neidhart now. As Neidhart's now up for the razor's edge here. The crucifix power bomb. God... What is happening? As look on the outside. On the outside of the ring. As oh god, on the outside of the ring now. Look at this. He's got him on the outside. And oh god, the razor's edge on the outside. It's look at Nash. Big Nash. He's got him again. Up on his shoulders. And oh, God. It's Hogan. The Neidhart's not moving. He is not moving. It drops another leg drop on him. Oh, my God. The NWO... It looks like Neidhart. As Brett, God man, taken out again. And Hogan is shouting. He is shouting at him. Oh, God. And the hardcore champion. Look at Neidhart getting back to his feet. And Jesus, man, a second chair shot. And Jim Neidhart is down and out. Is Brett down on the outside. And Brett comes into the ring. Is, oh God, Hogan. And Hulk Hogan. And, oh, he just booted the face off of him. And Hogan now drops the leg. Good God. Ladies and gentlemen, Jim Neidhart isn't moving. He has been demolished. We are seeing the foundation get torn apart here. Is it? They are just. Does the rest of the NWO know about this? Are they in on it? Do they know about it? Is. And Jesus, right on the steel chair. And the NWO, Jim Neidhart. Look at this, man. God, the crucifix powerbomb. And then look at this one to Brett on the outside. God, man, those ring mats only give so much. And God, just booted the face off of him. And look at this one. Look at back of his head. God, right out. 
lying right next to Naita. What the hell happened there? What was that all about? Brett and Hogan were arguing in the ring. God, man, this night has been... What the hell has happened tonight? Ladies and gentlemen, Hulk Hogan's grabbing a mic. In case you didn't hear me, Brett, brother, the last time the NWO fell apart is because it had too many people in it. Weak people like you. You won't get another title shot because you ain't worth shit in this company. This is the NWO's show and I'm the number one contender for the World Championship and you are no longer NWO. God, man, there you go. Bret Hart and Jim Neidhart have been kicked out of the NWO. We've seen Lex Luger join the NWO. We saw Rey Mysterio use dirty tactics to get his cruiserweight title back. We saw Canyon shake Buff Bagwell's hand. What the hell happened tonight? Goldberg was taken out. The Dungeon of Doom couldn't get into the building. Ladies and gentlemen, I don't have a clue what is going on right now. Even Kurt Hennig and that, they got themselves disqualified. Ladies and gentlemen, what is going on in WCW? What is happening on Nitro? Hogan is back. Brett is out. Goldberg was destroyed. What the hell is going to happen next week? We know it's going to be Hogan and Goldberg are uncensored. What the hell is going to happen next week? Ladies and gentlemen, like, share and subscribe and leave those comments down below. And we are all going to find out together when I see you next week in the next episode. And I'll see you then.